how much do you really understand about the difference between interest only mortgages repayment mortgages and even making overpayments on your mortgages now I'm sure you've got some basic understanding that interest only are cheap, cheap, cheap. So when we're looking at investment properties, taking them out improves our short-term cash flow. But how much of an understanding do you really have about the long-term financial implications of interest only versus repayments? And like I said, overpayment mortgages as well, or certainly making overpayments on your mortgages. There's been a few things over the past couple of years that have started to plant this seed in my head that there's more to it than I understood. And forgive me if you already know the ins and outs of this, but when it comes to financial literacy, it's not something that I've spent a huge amount of time exploring. Now, I was reading this book, Tony Robbins, Money Master the Game, a couple of years back. I think it came out around about 2014, 2015. And there's a bit of a chapter in there that told me exactly how big a difference making overpayments on a repayment mortgage can have to the life of the mortgage and the amount of interest that you pay. So that was really interesting. I hadn't really considered it in that much detail before. But then I started to notice a trend more recently amongst some of our bigger investor guests on the Inside Property Investing podcast. And they all seem to be making this switch at round about the same sort of time from interest only mortgages to repayment mortgages. And listening to their reasoning behind it, it really piqued my curiosity. You tie both of them up with the incoming changes from Clause 24 and how that is going to impact in particular landlords with highly leveraged properties on interest only mortgages and it really starts to paint a clear picture that understanding the differences not just in short term cash flow but in long term real financial wealth creation the difference between interest only versus repayment mortgages can have on your financial future. So I wanted to explore it in a little more detail. And I've got a few different examples to show you exactly just how big an impact switching to a repayment mortgage versus interest only. And then in an ideal world, making overpayments on that repayment mortgage can have over the course of your investing career and just how massive an impact it is going to have on your real wealth rather than just your monthly cash flow. Let's keep it short though, because I know we've all got a million other things that we could be doing with our time right now, but this is extremely important. So bear with me for just two or three minutes and we'll keep the example really simple. Let's assume that you've got a property that's worth 200,000 pounds and you get a 75% mortgage on it. So you're borrowing a loan of 150,000 pounds. We'll take an average interest rate of 5%, again, just to keep it nice and simple and look at the difference that this will have. now. The savings that you will get are applicable to you, whether this is your own residential property or an investment property. So regardless of your situation, your circumstances, this is going to have a massive impact on you. And let's start off by looking at the interest only figures. Now, an interest only mortgage, as you probably know, is one where you only pay the interest on the loan. You never actually repay the capital balance that you have borrowed. So at the end of the loan period, in this case, let's assume it's 25 years, you've been paying interest on that 150,000 pounds for 25 years, but you get to the end of the mortgage term and you still owe the bank 150,000 pounds as well as all the interest that you've been paying. Now at 5%, the monthly repayments on that loan would be 625 pounds. The annual repayments then times that by 12, you've got seven and a half thousand pounds in interest that you are paying the bank for that loan. So you get to the end of a 25 year term, you've paid the bank 187,500 pounds and you still owe them 150,000 pounds. So on a 150,000 pound loan, you're paying them 337 pounds 337,500 pounds, sorry, so over double the amount that you've actually borrowed. Now with repayment mortgages, as the name suggests, and I'm sure you're already aware, by the time you get to the end of your mortgage term, the 25 years, you've paid back that 150,000 pounds loan as well as all of the interest. So the monthly repayments on a repayment loan would be 877 pounds, 250 pounds more per month than you were paying on an interest only basis. But you get to the end of that 25 year period and you also have paid off the entire 150,000 pound loan as well. So doing it this way, 
makes you £75,000 better off over the course of the 25 years. That is a massive difference. Now, where it gets really interesting is where you can start making overpayments on a repayment mortgage. Obviously, this will be dependent on the product that you've got, so you'll need to speak to either your mortgage broker or the lender themselves to figure out if you're allowed to make overpayments and if so, how much, but we'll assume for the purposes of this exercise that you are allowed to make overpayments and we'll look at a couple of different examples and show you how big an impact it can have. So for example, if you make even just £100 extra payment per month on the same loan, it would increase your monthly repayments to £977 versus the £877, but the entire loan would be paid off in 20 years and 6 months versus the 25 year term. So you're saving yourself four and a half years of mortgage payments and it's also reducing the total repayment amount to £239,962, which is a massive saving in interest of £23,000, sorry, compared to just the standard repayment mortgage. So that extra £100 per month is saving you £23,000 over the course of the mortgage term. If you can increase that overpayment to £250 per month, obviously your monthly repayment is going to go up again to, in this instance, £1,127, but the debt would be paid off in 16 years and 3 months, knocking almost 9 years off the term of a 25-year mortgage. That is a massive impact on how long you'd be paying off your mortgage for. Your total repayments would also come down as well. So the total amount that you repay over those 16 years and three months is £219,262, saving you £43,838 over the course of, well, I guess those 16 years and three months rather than 25 years because you're paying off your mortgage a lot earlier as well. If you go on, it gets even better. £500 a month overpayment, which I know might be a big stretch, would mean that the entire debt was paid off in 12 years and two months. So making a 500 pound overpayment on a 150 grand mortgage would cut your mortgage term in half and save you 62,000 pounds over the term of that mortgage, which is a phenomenal saving. In summary then, there are two major advantages from switching to a repayment mortgage versus an interest only and even where possible making overpayments. Firstly, with regards to cost, the interest only mortgage is going to cost you about £337,000, £150,000 to pay back the loan at the end of the term, plus £187,000 in interest over those 25 years. By comparison on the repayment mortgage, it's going to reduce your interest payments by £75,000 by making that small extra payment every month towards paying down that capital. And if you can stretch it even further, even with just a £100 per month overpayment on your mortgage, it's going to knock an additional £23,000 over the total amount of interest that you pay on the loan. From a timing point of view, the advantages are obviously huge as well. At the end of the 25 years on an interest only basis, you would still owe the full £150,000 to the bank in addition to all of the interest that you've paid. On a repayment mortgage, you get to the end of that 25 year term and you don't owe them a penny more. And on even just £100 a month overpayment, you would be paying off that mortgage four and a half years earlier. So by the time you get to 20 years in six months, you own that property outright and everything from that point on is additional profit which is fantastic so hopefully this has enlightened you a little bit to the benefits of overpayments and might even encourage you to go and have a conversation with your broker on your next deal to make sure that you are on a repayment basis rather than an interest only mortgage given all of the changes that are coming in the years ahead it is well worth looking at it from this point of view particularly if you're in property to create long-term wealth rather than just short-term cash flow Hopefully that was useful to you and if you want to keep up to date with everything that we have got going on as well as a lot of content from our 170 plus guests that have been on the podcast now, you can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, you can subscribe to our videos on YouTube or follow us on Facebook. All of them you can do just by searching for Inside Property Investing wherever you want to keep up to date with us and we should pop right up. Thanks a lot guys.